New legislation could prohibit DNA obtained from rape kits from being added to New York's criminal database system. Our Capitol correspondent Amel Talizhi is speaking with experts who explained why this bill is necessary to protect survivors of sexual violence. I'm told this legislation was created after a San Francisco woman's DNA from her rape kit was used to arrest her for an unrelated crime. If enacted, the bill would give state agencies 90 days to remove DNA from rape kits from criminal database systems. This is really about making certain that DNA is securely held and isn't used for cross purposes and criminal prosecutions. The last thing we want to do is turn those victims into defendants. New York State Senator Brad Hoyleman and key sponsor of the bill says the DNA will be kept in a separate database that follows rape prosecutions. We want the DNA segregated so the evidence isn't used uh, against a victim and that victims are encouraged to come forward and to provide DNA in cases of sexual assault. Amanda Rue, founder of the Shift Workshop, echoing the same sentiment. We want survivors to be speaking out and speaking up so that people can be held accountable for this behavior. So this is really about safeguarding the victim and removing as many barriers as possible as we can to help them actually speak out and seek justice. She says this could also help survivors in lower income or black and brown communities. So that like the criminal justice system is not as favorable, we know oftentimes, to our black and brown um, people as well. There's also legislation to implement a statewide tracking system for survivors to track their rape kits, which awaits the governor's signature. Reporting in Albany, Amel Talaji. Well, news tonight, police uh, 